in this video we will learn about the fundamental of debugging the windows service we already know how to create a service now we see in this video how to debug a windows service to understand the debug process first of all we see the code flow i mean when the service starts running how the code execute line by line so after having the understanding of this part we will be in a position to debug a service in a better way first of all we should understand that or should know keep in mind that like any other program the windows service which is also a program starts its running from the main method so here we are looking a program class and in the program class we have the main method so our once the service starts main method is executed first of all and what we are looking here here we are looking service space class but we are taking an array of the service space as we know that what the service we create it is derived from service space class because service space class contains all the properties methods and events which are needed to define a service suppose we are defining a service named as file list service so this service is inheriting the service space so uh, if you go in the f2 f2 help and look at the service space properties and method so we, uh, all these are given here like we can name a service service name we can also generate event log event log if you don't know then you you type here event log event uh, windows event log uh, you can see in the event viewer okay so all the events what kind of events are generated they are all also logged suppose we are looking at the application so for any application not only the windows service all the applications what the what the uh, events are generated all these events are logged here so this is called event log so uh, our service base class contains the property event log and auto log automatically it will log so uh, there are so many things uh, so it is not possible to consider each and everything in detail but uh, basically we have to keep in mind uh, a service is created means a service class is created by inheriting the service base class so what we are doing once our main method ex execute so first of all we are creating a variable services to run mind it it is plural services to run we can run more than one services so we are taking an array of service base and just we are declaring a variable then we are initializing all the services services to run means all the services that we want to run and we are creating an instance of this array and we are just giving one object what the service we have created service file list service class so that we are passing so this services to run is initialized now then and thereafter there is a method called run so once the run is executed then services to run uh, services to run we pass it here service space class as the run method so all the uh, services will uh, start executing so that is the importance of service space now once we start uh, debugging the process first of all uh, 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 if you want to debug just i am putting the break line here because what will happen suppose the line execute first of all so this will be declared this line is not going to matter next line what will happen this will be initialized means services to run will be initialized and then and thereafter it will go and create a this variable so it will jump to this jump to this class and we know once we, it will jump to the class first of all constructor of this class will be called so initialize component and other things will occur okay so we go, go back and see how how to debug first of all i i put here break and uh, step by step we, we start so i click here the start button mind it otherwise uh, normally we cannot run a service by clicking the start button but we can debug a service unless until we are going to reach this point service based dot run so before that because we have not executed the service so it will not uh, 
so the uh, dialog box is saying that we cannot uh, run the service like that because here our service is going to run before that we can do the debugging all the all these things so we uh, start uh, this one debugging process okay line by line we'll go not f10 i will press f11 so f11 you press so once you press f11 it will uh, go into the code then and thereafter it, it will go uh, in detail I, I i leave this one part so it is going to the constructor what i told you it will go to initialize this file list service because we are using the new operator so inside the constructor it is going to move so again i put f11 it it will initialize the component what it will do it will give the name of the service i i, I go inside this one so it will give the name of the service mind it i, I go line by line now so component is initialized means service name is given other things also we can do but right now what i am doing i am initializing the component is service in now if you want to deal with the timer and other things then this line will be executed timer then file list uh, file list uh, this uh, class uh, it will go to this class and it will use uh, invoke the constructor not the everything so i again press f11 and f f11 then it will go inside the constructor mind it it is the class file list and it will invoke the constructor and only run this one line so f11 after creating the object it will go back not it will run each and every line of this class and then and thereafter uh, if you go here then this one part is done now you cannot use the service base because the debugging process cannot do everything okay then and thereafter you can you cannot do because here we are getting the exception so basically what i wanted to show uh, the service cannot be debugged like just cl clicking the uh, start button and then doing it but a certain piece of the code we can do the debugging without uh, running the service even without running the because once we start running the service then other part of the code will execute other part of the code what i mean to say it will go and uh, uh, all these parts on a start on a start will uh, on a start part will run when this uh, run method will be invoked that i wanted to uh, say so another thing we do how to debug uh, by running the service now we go in the service and this service is right now not running i will start running this service and then and thereafter i will attach this service because once service will start there will be process id that will be created and we can see that uh, process id in the task manager i will explain each and everything in that one so uh, let us go ahead first of all what uh, what we do uh, we do first of all what we do we run the service and we will attach the process process means a service is always a process running service is a process and this process will have a id so first of all i run this service file list service once i start this service then i go and attach to the process so uh, i will uh, pick the service this is the file list service i will attach to the uh, windows uh, visual studio now what will happen i have given uh, uh, some uh, interval then and thereafter it will reach to be uh, after starting the service on a start uh, is going uh, and actually all all these parts have occurred uh, what i want to say just uh, you will uh, you'll have to wait 60000 millisecond means 1 minute so just we wait then uh, uh, actually the service is running and uh, it will halt uh, i i mean at a, a certain line in the code it will halt and then and thereafter will start debugging another another thing also i want to say now it reached look here what happened it reach to the list file how it reach to the list file uh, first of all what happened once we started the service 
everything happened like that before but uh, happened something more once we started the service what happened on a start process while executed uh, although it is uh, here but why, how it happened uh, 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 on a start is automatically invoked okay so then and there after uh, uh, it reached to this one part this is a, a file list how it is to the file list because if you go here file list so this class was uh, on the left time when 60000 millisecond means 1 minute was elapsed then timer uh, invoked this one part so this was invoked and then and there after what happened we reach to that, uh, that part okay now we start uh, debugging like this like this okay now it is taking some time whatever with the so this is the way to uh, and uh, suppose we uh, stop the service then we uh, can again attach the service but uh, one thing more i wanted to say if you look here in the visual here is written 2084 this is the process id of the service if you look inside the uh, task manager so the process which are running so i press f because file list So 2084. If you look here, 2084, both are same. So this service is running, and this process, uh, the process ID is 2084 of this service, and this is attached to the uh, de uh, debugger. So we can uh, attach to the process what we are looking. Control Alt P. Okay. So this is the way. Otherwise, if you know the debugging uh, of other things, then you can uh, step by step you have to debug. But fundamentally, in the debug, you just have to note to uh, debug a service, we have to uh, start the service, and then we have to attach the process. Attach the process, and uh, suppose I stop the service. So Visual Studio will remember. there is some uh, issue in the otherwise uh, not so much time should be taken to stop the service uh, there is some issue in the code most possibly anyway so uh, again what we can do we can reattach uh, the process here will come reattach the process the right now it is not looking because the service is not still stopped so that was my intention to explain uh, what are the steps to debug the process uh, first thing we learned that even without running the service we can uh, debug the code certain piece of the code unless until we are going to execute this one but it is not entirely debugging because debugging means uh, any part of the code we are going to debug so to debug any part of the code basically we have to start the service run the service and once the start service will start running then we have to attach the service uh, and for that one we, we can use the shortcut control alt p and after attaching also in between we have to keep in mind we have to place the debug uh, debug point uh, many places wherever then we have to uh, attach the process attach to the process then automatically after lapse of some time the code will uh, halt uh, where we have put the break point so that i want to say so that much is uh, enough for today uh, for this video thanks for watching this video in another video i'll explain in more detail uh, most possibly there is some issue in this uh, service what the service i have uh, created uh, it seems uh, there is uh, some issue yeah uh, windows could not uh, stop the file list service on the local there was some error so we will learn uh, uh, in more detail 
because service controller there is service controller part perhaps it is missing uh, let me check uh, whether i have service controller is at anyway uh, i will have to look into it so basically i wanted to explain uh, how we start the debugging of a service